Sirius XM is where moments happen, and you'll find them here 24-7. In music, talk, sports, comedy, and news. Live and on demand. And they're on in your car, online, or on the app so you won't miss a thing. Visit SiriusXM.ca slash never miss a beat. Gotta love those cool intros, right? BPS Lighting is the guest today. Today we're talking about another awesome brand, Canadian-grown lighting company. You know, we've been touching on lighting as a category a couple times now because it's so important for dealers to understand that it is certainly an emerging category. If you're not stocked up on aftermarket lighting, especially LED technology lighting, you're missing the boat. And uh, today's guest will certainly shed some more light on that matter. Hey, thanks for joining us on this lunchtime learning hour. I'm your host, Ben Wu for CMA Connected. Um, for the next 30 minutes, we are going to dive deep on a brand that you may or may not have heard about, but certainly you're going to know about after today. They have a complete line. When I say complete, I mean complete line of LED lighting solutions, light bulbs for every application. Um, and they've been in the game for quite a bit. They're based out of Montreal, uh, St. Catherine. Actually, that's my home stomping grounds. I'm actually from the South Shore as well, so not too far from me. Uh, I remember these guys back, you know, on the on the... The, the car meet days, building cars. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to get too far into it. I'm going to let them tell the story. But before I get there, it's very important to note that this BPS lighting brand is distributed in Canada through one of our friends over in Montreal. And they, of course, go by the name Sobel Imports. Representing Sobel Imports, I have Mr. Gaetan Rowe, who will be joining us with us today. Let's get Gaetan on the show. Hey, Gaetan, what's going hey. on? Very good, very good. How was you, uh, Ben? I'll tell you, it's winter. I'm not happy that we're not spring yet. But it gives me the opportunity to uh, learn about all these great products that are going to really affect sales this season and hopefully get our dealers across Canada into a position to, uh, to make some extra money, right? Exactly. Yeah, right. All right. So, Gita, I mean, Sobel Imports, man, I've known about Sobel and been dealing with Daniel and everybody so for so many years. But Sobel Imports has evolved so much over the last 10 years, right? And now, obviously, selling light bulbs and this type of accessories. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the feedback or the or the response that your customers have had about BPS lighting? Well, since we uh, have started carrying uh, BPS, like maybe it's like five years ago, four or five years ago, it's a growing business for us, and it's good for them. And the, the product, like, working very, very good. And it's a successful right now. Every customer who's starting to like we're using the product, usually they're like very, very happy. And we're getting also a lot of service from uh, from uh, BPS uh, as a support, you know, because they're uh, people, they have sometimes an issue when they're installing it. So uh, Sebastien and Ben were there to give us service concerning all those type, uh, uh, we, we have to deal with some issue, you know, so it's very good. Uh, we're very happy and Sobel is a nice way to connect with the BPS. Oh, there's a couple of things I like about that Sobel BPS connections. Number one, you guys are both Quebec based companies. So, you're, you know, you're working together to get the product out there. And you're right. When it comes to selling something like light bulbs, there are so many questions that can come up because, you know, a lot of the market is do it yourselves. They might want to come into the shop, get the bulbs and they, they feel they can do it themselves. Or if not, of course, for more complicated installs, that's something that, of course, you as a shop can make a little bit more money on and charge for that install. But nevertheless, um, the success of BPS is on two things from the research that I've done. And we're, we're going to ask Sebastian when he gets on. But number one, you've got to have that technical support. You know, there's so many questions. How do I do this? Will this fit, you know, between, you know, dome lights and backup lights? And uh, there's so many applications. So you're right about that, Gita. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think I think the second part is, um, you know, the fact that they've been doing this so long and the fact that they have the selection that they do. If you go on the, you know, I did my little research beforehand. The, the reviews seem to be pretty positive. So I'm going to, we're going to ask that to, Seb to Sebastian. What do you think if we bring him on right now? Yeah, we yeah, right. Sebastian. Right. So Sebastian and his brother started BPS. Yeah, we're going to have Sebastian. 
<laughs> Come on on. Hey, Sebastian, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, people? And welcome to uh, CMA Connected. Hey, thank you. I'm actually uh, very happy to be here today. Uh, well, you look pretty happy. You look like you're all set up and you're ready to go. I called you before. I said, Sebastian, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. I hope you're comfortable talking about your products. And what did you say? You said, well, go ahead, fire everything you got at me. I'm ready to answer everything. So how about we get started? Absolutely. All right, so let's uh, t let's take two minutes, not more. You know, I remember BPS as a, a performance shop on the South Shore. So what happened from the time I remember seeing your Mazda, you know, at the car shows and then doing a performance, and all of a sudden now you're like this manufacturer of LED lighting. What was the story there? Uh, well, we started about 10 years ago, me and my uh, partner, Ben, is actually my brother. Uh, so, yes, it's a family company. We started modifying cars, you know. Uh, small modification, we're talking about intakes, exhaust, mags, alarm system, audio system, you know, the, the whole fast and furious shebang. Uh, but throughout the times we saw that modification, it's it's still very trending. Uh, but me and Ben were, let's let's call it gr getting grown up. And we, start, we started selling car parts online because the market was, there's, there was a huge market online. So that's how we started. Uh, it was a very small company, and then um, we, uh, we, di we decided to distribute also uh, locally, even, even though it's just not Quebec, we wanted to attack Canada, United States, so we were looking for a distributor, that's, what, that's when we decided to meet uh, Sobel, and um, I mean, with, with their partnership, with all, the, uh, with all the effort we put throughout uh, this branding, which is called Peace Lighting, that was actually, I would say, on the market for roughly six to seven years. And uh, yeah, today we started small. We wanted to remain small at first. We just wanted to do a little thing. But we saw that we were offering a very reliable, good, um, at a reasonable price range product. And that's where we actually became bigger than we thought. And we said, why not? And we just, I quit Holy. my daily job. And then I just went through BPS lighting all in, and today we I think we have a very successful rate. Well, that's a beautiful story that's you and your brother that started. And you know, when it comes to your timeline, you know, for a long time it was all about the xenon, right? The HIDs, and then also the LED technology came in. And when an LED first came in, you know, we don't have to go with this for long, but I think you timed it really nicely because LED, when you started coming in, was the time where that technology met a price point that was affordable. Right. Absolutely. And, and I, from what I understand, you guys went direct. You look for the manufacturer and then you start developing the product from there. Yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly what happened, Ben. Uh, you're totally right. LEDs only has been on the market for uh, a certain amount of years. I would say uh, I remember the first LED we got maybe five or six years ago. So, like I said, we started with HID kits. Uh, it yep. was a five tool co component with two ballasts, two light bulb, a full relay harness that was connections all over the place. And then we we got, we were we were trying to keep with the trend of the lighting business. It could be ex exterior light, could be interior light. And then obviously we had a, an approach with a manufacturer, which we dealt with them with a long time ago. Uh, and uh, we, we switched to LEDs, but now the LED business has grown so much. And they're as reliable. They're, I would say, better because you always have that uh, particular uh, clientele that ratters HIDs. But then you have the new clientele, or you know, the the, the new generation clientele that ratters LEDs specifically. Uh, but yeah, we started with HIDs. We installed, I would say, if I didn't install five thousand vehicles back in the wow. days when I was my hands into a, an engine bay. Uh, I would say I didn't ever install them. So from my technical, you know, I grow, I, I, what we say in a business, I, I went through all the ladders. I started yeah. building, I started installing and then selling. Then we are a manufacturer. So, so the perspective of the company is like, really it's, we, we are specialized into a lighting comp business, 12 -0. There's three points here that you bring across, and I want to start with these three points because I know they're important messages um, when it comes to BPS. And number one, I think you just said it. You know, you come from a, a install background. You've had your hands, your, your your body under the car, in the car. So from a technical standpoint, uh, I think you're very sound, and I think people will find that if you have a question about you know application, 
or troubleshooting or whatever. I think that's something that you're very proud of. You mentioned something I want to talk about. You know, there's a lot of LED lighting companies out there and different brands, but you you, you certainly have a, one of the bigger lineup. Um, you know, as far as uh, where you sit in the market, I, I noticed that you mentioned, you know, we, we offer a great product at a, at a fair price. Are you saying that you're not the cheapest, you're not the most expensive? Like, where do you feel BPS sits in the lineup of things? Uh, I was, well, to be in all honesty, I think we're, we're average. I, I don't think we are the cheapest. You always pay what you, you always get what you pay for. You know, that's a, that, that's a proverb, I guess. Uh, we don't, we, we could, we could be cheaper, but obviously the, all the components into LED will change. So I would say we are in an average pricing, uh, due to the fact that we only strictly sells lights. Uh, we have the opportunity uh, not to be too expensive and having a very, very good and reliable product, like I said before, yeah. I want to swing that over to Gaetan. Gaetan, what's the feedback been from the customers as far as the pricing is concerned? Because, you know, you know, this is an item that if you're going to buy into, you're going to buy a lot. You can't just buy one or two pieces. So yeah. what's the feedback been for pricing? No, since we have started to using, you know, we have started with HID also with the BPS. And HID, what Sebastian was saying, was more harder to install, more parts, more, and product was a lot more expensive. So since we we went in through the business of LED, it was so much easier for the installer. And what is very important for them, it's like not always having too much comeback, you know, because when... When you have like a lot of comeback on a product there, it's starting to be like not, not fun selling it anymore. And so the price right now on the retail and all that, the, all our customers are very, very happy with the, 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 the because all the, uh, all the different type of, uh, the B do the, the, the B. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to go through all those yeah, lines for sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the price are like similar and the, 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 we have ne almost no comeback on the product. Wow. Okay. Like, it's like very good. For sure, we have some once in a while there, but it's very little, very little. Very nice. I got a question coming in here that we're going to throw up here uh, for Sebastian. What's the warranty on the product, Sebastian? Uh, depending on the product, we offer between a one year to a two year warranty on every single product. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's dive right into product because, I mean, God, time flies so quickly. How does the, the, the product line break up as far as? Um, Types of product. Where, what? Where, let maybe start from the bottom and go to the top. Is that how it works? Uh, well, I mean, we offer different kind of product. We, I would say, we have four major uh, headlight um, uh, series. Mm -hmm. They all have their upside and downside. So I can start off with the. Uh, I, I know it's going to be funny, but people when they buy a light, wh what do they want, Ben? To be honest, uh, they want it to work and plug in. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, you're you're almost right, but they actually want the brightest. Stronger. Yeah, they want brighter want for sure. Bright. That's why you go LED. Stronger right. That's what longer. people want, right? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yes. Then I'm gonna show you, Ben. We have the B2 series here. The B2 series is rated at uh, six thousand six thousand lumens per bulb, and uh, okay. so twelve thousand lumen total. It has. It's a built fan. It's a very simple LED, like you can tell. It's a light bulb with a string of wire about four inch with a direct play, uh, plug and play connection. I mean, when you say plug simple, and play connection, you say plug and play, just to be clear, I want to be clear. When you say plug and play connection, I mean, I take off the bulb, unplug it, put this bulb in, and plug it. That's it. As simple as it sounds. Okay. So people, people sometimes they're going to go, well, I'm pretty sure it's not plug and play on every vehicle. You are totally right. It doesn't necessarily mean it plug, it's plug and play on every vehicle. For example, you have a Honda CRV 2002, right, Ben? Yeah. You literally pop the hood, remove the bulb, put the bulb in. Just make sure you have the adjustment right because all the LED of, of the B2 series has adjustment on it. You literally put it in, plug in, and you're good to go. Yes, people are going to say, yeah, yeah, okay, your bulbs are plug and play. I'm pretty sure it's not plug and play, Ram. Well, I mean, plug and play, yes, but you may have to add a, an extra modules, which is not a big deal. It remains plug and play. No cutting, no splicing, no modification require, requirement on any any vehicle. So every single LED we sell 
it's going to be a plug and play no matter what it, no matter if it's just the led or with the initial module and on that series if i have this right here this i mean there's a this is the b2 that you're talking about exactly yeah we have Long, a variety a of the type range here yeah exactly we can go from h1 h3 h4 i'm not going to say them all but yep. it can go yep. to 9012 um 880 fog light psx24 fog light everything has uh, is available in terms of headlight low beam high beam and a fog light application uh, any any special features when it comes to the the, the b2 uh i notice here this has ip from, from the from the old generation the older generation that we have sold for over three years maybe four years the older now this is the new gen the new gen compared to the old gen has a fully adjustable base. It has, uh, we, we had a bit of issue with the high and low beam in the B2 series, which we fix on the new generation B2. Now it is a uh, two side light instead of a three sided light. Um, the We use a ball bearing for the fan in uh, on the hand of the bulb. Uh, what else? I mean, it's a smaller, thinner uh, ball frame. So when it, when it comes to a, an end light that has a cover in the back and there's, it's a very restricted space, uh, we have a little bit more fitment now with the B2s. Okay, very good. What's the next series, Sebastian? Uh, we can go with the T2 series. This is this is uh, the I, I would call it entry level. But when I when I say entry level, I'm talking about price range. I'm not talking about quality because all all our bulbs are made from the same quality material. Um, but the T2 is more for a fly application, reflector headlight. To be honest with you, when we installed the B2s into a F, as for example, an F150 2015 and up, uh, I had some comebacks. People say, look, listen, it's way too bright. Too bright. Oh, uh, exactly. Okay. Yeah. It sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but it's too bright. Why? Because it's a reflector headlight. It's a it's a vehicle that is already higher than the Honda Civic, yeah. for example. Uh, so we can in install another series. Unfortunately, on the on the F150, the T2 doesn't fit because of a larger frame. But I have a specific LED specifically for the F150. But I want to talk about the T2. The T2 is one of the cheapest of the BPS brand. Same thing again. It's a light bulb with a you know I would say a medium size frame fully adjustable so as for example here the h7 you can remove the adapter uh, h4 as well you can remove it you can install your well depending on the application of the vehicle but you can install the paint first put the, the cover back and then you just insert the led um that's for an h7 rarely we're going to find that into a fog light but let's say a 9006 same thing you insert into a fog light i mean it's fully adjustable so that's a okay. very, very, very reliable solution for the fog light. And that's the T2 series you're talking about. That's the T2 series, exactly. So okay. why I say more for a fog light application instead of a B2, because we know F-150, Rams, Silverado, Sierras, all the mud, the snow, the salt, the dust can clog a fan. So more, a better, a wiser choice would be with to go with a T2. All right, I know we have some questions coming in, but I'm going to wait until we go through the products and then I'll circle back, guys, if you're asking questions. I mean, you got Sebastian on. He knows everything there is to know about lighting, so ask away and I'll make sure I circle back. But, Sebastian, you have this one more high-end, it uh, looks high-end, um, line, and it's called the Ultra V. What is this all about? Uh, yes, sir. The Ultra V, it was actually a um, series we wanted to be make us a little bit different uh, on the other brand because all the LED, LED when you shop online or you shop into a store, they all, I would say, look similar. Yes, they are totally different, but they all have that silver framing with the orange seal or the green seal. So mm. on this end, we wanted to make a flashing product, uh, not necessarily the brightest, not necessarily the best product, but it's a very, it's a very specific uh, brand to BPS lighting. Okay, very cool. It has oh, uh, it, okay, sorry. <laughs> it has all the models again uh, from H1, H3, H7, H4, whatever. Uh, but specifically, uh, this brand we have an H11B. So for the people that are asking, uh, because it's it's getting more training, the H11B. Yes, it's only high on the Kia's that has those, but we do have a lot of demand, and unfortunately, there's not a lot of availability 
into the H11, but BP at here at BPS lining, we do have the H11B. Once again, remove the old bulb, put this one in, turn it in, good to go. Yeah. Sorry, cool. so, sorry, Sebastian. The cause of the ultraviolet, what, what is the purpose of that? It's uh, what's the little uh, piece of metal there? What it's what, what is, yeah, doing? is there a purpose? I was wondering too, is or is it just yeah. cosmetic? It's it's, yeah. it's 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 only cosmetic, it's only about the okay. look. Um, we we had we had a similar series called the perfect fit, we're gonna talk right after. Uh, well, I mean, I can talk about it, but it's a very similar bulb, it's a perfect fit series. No, let me continue with the ultra V, anyways. It, it's a very uh, uh, it's a smaller frame. So, for example, if you install a B2 or a T2 series and you don't have enough space, well, the Ultra V series, um, up, upside, I would say, it was it's a very uh, smaller frame. So, in some of application, it it, it it will be required to install the Ultra Ultra V series instead of the B2 or the T2 that has larger frame. Uh, okay. But yeah, specifically the purple CNC plate on the side, in it's the glove, specifically it's, for looks. Yeah. In the glove, does it have the, the like the ultraviolet? It doesn't appear in the glove at all, or you see? I would bit? say yes. Uh, yeah. okay. The okay. the projection of the light remains white. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but once installed uh, at night, for example, the lights are on. You go out of your vehicle and you look on the floor. You have a small uh, thing of purple. Oh, like light. a hue of purple there that kind yeah. of makes yeah, it exactly. unique. Okay, it, yeah, that's neat. But I mean, it's the projection, the projection. It doesn't reflect. You're right, right, yeah. right. Understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and you do have one more uh, product you want to talk about? Absolutely. We have the Fit series again. Some people are like uh, with their LEDs, with their extra modules and stuffing everything into a headlight. I got something for you guys. Uh, sorry. I was prepared, but... People probably going to recognize this headlight. That looks like a Ford F-150. F-150, 2015 and up. We have yep. a lot of installation issue with this one. Why? Because there's no room. Oh, very easy on F-150. I'm not going to make an, a demo for 30 minutes. People will understand. As people are watching, I believe they're all special. Oh, yeah. People. Anybody who's watching knows exactly what you're doing right now. Remove, remove the cover. Yeah. Remove the bulb. I'm gonna put you on Twitter. Literally here. take 20 seconds. I know we still have to remove the light from the car, so you, you yeah. I, I'm gonna save you the 30 minutes from the installation. But as as easy as it sounds, oh, I need an eleven then. Oh, actually, guys, wait. It won't be long. I have one right. I do not have it here. Can you give me an eleven, Ben? Sorry for the wait, guys. Yeah, no, no problem. I think what you're trying to show us is you have a bulb that fits that problem. Actually, you want to know something? It's the same thing for the high beam. 9,005 installation. Sorry, I don't want to make too much noise as well. Oh, 9,005, that's what I have. So same thing. You insert. You twist. You plug it yeah, in. I mean, obviously, that's a very popular application. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Before I read the cover, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There you go. Very low profile. Look, look at the space when I say, look at the space. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. Still available. All those all those LEDs that doesn't fit in there. Oh, I got it. Here you go. Here's the H11, guys. Same thing. Twist. Turn. Plug in. Show us the and space the there once you have that. Uh, a, little bit, a little bit less space, but... But still fits perfect. Still, still, still enough. Mm-hmm. And one more thing, there's a lot of LED that we use back in the days when we used to install an F-150 requires modules because they're still equipped with a can, but it's it's a little less less fancy than a Jeep Wrangler or a Dodge Ram. But the the actual, the, the Perfect Fit series is actually plug and play on every F-150. Perfect, okay. Very nice. And in terms of brightness, well, buy it, try it, and you'll be pleased. <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, listen, we got a few minutes left here. Uh, I definitely want to go to some questions, if that's okay with you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go back to some questions here. So, first question I hear here was this: here, what's the best pro for projector housing? Uh, for projector for recommendation? housing, definitely the B two series. B two series fits project, and why is that the best choice? Because it's the brightest light. We Great all know that projector headlights, okay, fr from the start, when you buy a vehicle that has projector headlights, I have a lot 
a lot of customer complaining about the allergen into uh, a projector headlight. Why? Because the projector headlights in, in terms of uh, capacity of lighting, I would say it, it prevents a lot of power output, but it concentrates the light where it's supposed to. So instead of having glaring or you know scattering into a headlight, when it comes to the projector, yes, it concentrates. It makes a perfect per per perpendicular line, you know, mm. but definitely an allergen is not suited for projector. So projector headlight, you're trying to get the best out, out of it, definitely the B2s. That would be recommender, re recommendation number one. If you can't afford to install the B2, I'm talking about space covers, like for example, the, uh, the F-150 headlight. Uh, then you can go with any other series in, uh, between the Perfect Fit and the Ultra V series. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, I have another question here coming in. Do you carry the resistors to stop the lights from pulsating on certain models? Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to be. I'm going to be modest. Uh, vehicle still requires modules and resistors. They are very, very minimal. So Sierra's Silverado F-150. All those vehicles doesn't require any. But we do have a, uh, a line of resistor H4, H7, H13, 9004, 9007. Uh, we also have the modules. If you guys give me one second, oh, it's not there. I don't want to have too much time. But we do have the resistors. We have the double resistors for the H4, H13. We have the canvas modules, or let, let's call it the anti-flickering modules, available in all uh, type model specific. Yeah. Yes, of course. Awesome. And if you Very call good. us, we tell you if you need it or not. Yeah, and even some adapter now, eh? because some of the model you need you need the spe specific adapter for the same light. It's the same ball, but uh, you, you you're gonna be like for a Volkswagen or stuff like that. Sometimes you need the special adapter, and we you still have that also. Okay, exactly. very cool. Just, well, it, just, it to, sounds like... just, yeah, just to add, Ben, sorry, just to add very, very, very important people are going to ask. All the resistors and all the modules are actually plug in place. So they come with a, a female hand and a male hand that plugs in between the LED and the factory connector. Very good. So there's no soldering, no splicing, no taping involved. That That's the, the, the those days are gone, Ben. Perfect. Good. I know I'm old, so I'm just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last thing here. Um, I'm going to throw the question to Sebastian, then we're going to let him go. Uh, what is coming down the pipe? What's exciting? Anything new that you can tell us about what oh, people can expect? Everybody had a bad year of COVID. Uh, I'm glad that everybody's watching the show right now that served to this pandemic. But in 2021, VPS lighting will have a, a variety. We, we used to, 2020 was difficult for everyone. So we uh, kept concentrating into a lighting, uh, headlight, fog light, like I said before. But this year, we're going to have a whole brand of uh, Jeep accessories. So tail lights, headlights. Let's say, for example, your Jeep Wrangler is orange. Well, we'll have orange specific headlights, obviously LED with projectors, uh, tail lights. It could be chrome clear. It could be red tinted. What about light uh, bars, Sebastian? Light bars? Definitely light bar. Uh, we still uh. have to approach our company with that. We do have a manufacturer that we dealt with before. Great line of product at a reasonable pricing, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 inch. Uh, look, listen, interior light, exterior light, flashers, blinkers, reverse, anything, and interior as well. My gosh, look at that. Um, where can people find more information, maybe some videos, some install tips? Uh, videos and tell Oh, actually, we just started uh, running some YouTube videos. I'm sorry, they are in French for the uh, English population, but don't worry, we will eventually do uh, English version video uh, for the people that unfortunately don't understand French. Um, and and reverse if people that are French, we're gonna have a French version, so we're gonna do both. Uh, give us nice. a little bit of time. We just started with those videos, installation, uh, product description, new product coming in. Um, you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram. Very easy. Uh, all uh, crossbar, BPS lighting. Yep. Um, and and look, listen, if you are looking to be a, a, a supplier, well, so a dealer, yep. for you. Perfect. Hey, Sebastian, we can't thank you enough for being on and sharing with us. Hopefully we get to do this again and maybe dive a little bit deeper on some new product Anytime. you're coming out with. And uh, you've been very helpful. As you guys can see, obviously very, very technically knowledgeable. And uh, feel free to give them a call for tech support. Thanks a lot, Sebastian. All right, thanks, Ben. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Mr. Gaetan, I'm going to switch over here. Yeah. Um,
I think I, I think he demonstrated exactly why they found the success they have. I mean, he's very knowledgeable. The whole team there, I'm sure, has gone through, you know, all the troubleshooting, and he seems to have the answer for everything. And I'm sure that makes your job easier too as a sales rep. Oh, exactly. You know, uh, why did we have choose and no, it used we know we knew him because he, he was like a, a, a detailer before, you know. So finally, end up as showing us our line and all that. Ben comes see Daniel, and uh, suddenly we said, okay, we'll, we'll get together and we start to uh, distributing your product. So they were very happy with the job we done, and we continue to work together and. Uh, it's very good the, the way everything because me like like I said before you know like the minute I have a customer I have like some question that can I cannot answer I cannot know every cars I'm saying yeah, look call, the call, yeah. band, call at the shop they're gonna we, they, they'll have the answer for you Perfect. so it's very more easy for us for sure when we have that. It's probably one of the easier yeah. products for you to represent and sell, to be honest, yeah. with that type of support, especially locally. Two questions for you, and then I'll let you go. Yeah. Number yeah. one, what's inventory looking like for dealers that are interested? Oh, we have a lot of inventory. Ready to go. A lot, not a lot. But this year, there are, we don't know exactly where it's going to go. Uh, Ben's going to supply us as much as he can, because you did, even in radio, stuff like that, we have... We yeah. had some issue last year. We're gonna, everybody we have, did, but everybody right? did. Yeah. Exactly. We're going to have a, probably an issue a bit similar to that this year too. But uh, we're working hard for getting product into a, a warehouse mm -hmm. to, to make sure that uh, we're supplying our customer as right. much as we can. And to be clear, so Bell, so Bell anywhere yeah, from Canada, if, if yeah. I'm in New Brunswick, if I'm in Vancouver, I can call you guys and you can get me the product for BPS. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. Awesome, guys. So that's Sobel Imports. Thank you, Don. Thanks for yeah. joining us today. I'm sure we'll be talking soon about another product that Sobel has. Thank you. And thank you for all the team at Sobel to working hard. Thank you, Ben. And no problem. Uh, next time. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk more. Another, another together. Another product. All right. That was, uh, thank you, Gaetan. That was Gaetan uh, Rowe from Sobel Imports along with Sebastian over at BPS Lighting. Hey, thanks for joining us on this CMA Connected. Um, if you want more information, I think he laid it out right there. They've got some videos. Uh, check out their Facebook page. Uh, I want to talk to you real quick about what's coming up. I know you're going to hear me talk about this a lot. Industry Week is an event that we're putting together that's going down March 22nd, April 1st. If you're a dealer, make sure you pay attention to what's going on from our Facebook page, from the emails that we've been sending out, and also on our website, CanadianMobileAudio.com. We're going to be unveiling the, the schedule of all the participants and all the vendors and brands that will be presenting specific um, segments uh, that will help you get the right information into your hands about the products uh, that are hot to trot for the 2021 season. Industry Week, March 22nd, coming up. And every week, every day, we're going to give you more and more information. Hey, I'm just going to throw up our digits right here. If you're interested in getting a hold of us, if you're a shop and you want to get featured if or you have an idea for one of these shows, make sure you hit us up right down there, info at CanadianMobileAudio.com or on our website. That's it for this Lunch Hour Learning Session, CMA Connected. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Uh, you guys have a great weekend's family day for most of the country on Monday. Spend some time with the fam. Have a good weekend. Until next time, we connect. Mm -hmm.